My name is Jeannie Ross. I'm a principal research scientist at MIT's Center for Information Systems Research, which is part of the Sloan School. I've been at MIT now 24 years, and mostly what I've studied is what I call business architecture. I find that the word architecture is a little scary for people, so more often I refer to it as business design. And the essence of the challenge is, how do we design our business so we can execute our strategies? What's happened in the digital economy is that value propositions are shifting. And that's because everything can happen faster, everything can be information enriched, we have opportunities for insights we didn't have before, we have opportunities to connect technically in ways we couldn't before. And all of these changes are making it possible for companies to offer value propositions no one even imagined before. If companies that have been successful for a long time aren't thinking about how their value proposition could change in a digital economy, they are opening themselves up for people to start picking away at the ways they add value. And they could easily find themselves a few years from now obsolete, just too hard to work with, not clever enough in the services they offer. So it, it doesn't need to change everything about a company, but it will change the value proposition. And I think if companies aren't thinking about it, they're going to run into trouble. I talk often about what I call smack it, social, mobile, analytics, cloud, internet of things. I use that term because I think it sounds harsh. And I think the reality for companies that have been around for a while is kind of harsh. It's everything's changing. Now, it's not just those five technologies. It's also biometrics, it's cognitive computing, it's a daily procession of new opportunities that present themselves. And I think for uh, traditional companies not to imagine what those technologies make possible puts them at risk. It's not like every technology affects every decision. In fact, that would almost make it easy. The truth is, we want to be inspired by these technologies. We want to think about what could we do that we've never been able to do before that existing or future customers would love. That's the opportunity, and it's not an easy one to imagine. So I think that's the challenge of the digital economy. Business silos are a real challenge for companies. On the one hand, we love them because it lets us take what we offer customers, divide it up, assign accountabilities, and get work done. The problem in the digital economy is that as our offerings change, as the way we make money changes, what we're finding is that there's certain integrated capabilities that technology makes possible that business silos basically obstruct. So in order to deliver on the digital value proposition, we have to either work around those silos or get rid of them. We would love to just get rid of them in many of our companies, but we built our companies around these silos. So the organizational structure, the uh, processes that we designed, the systems that we put in, the power uh, that was distributed, all of those things reinforce our, uh, basically they reinforce our silos. And now when we say, oh, you know, we should just get rid of them, we're asking people to do something that's incredibly hard on multiple dimensions, so it takes a very long time. 